Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is the Batman The Enemy Within Telltale game, sequel to their first Batman series. Before we jump into it, just a quick reminder, you are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, okay? All right, let's jump in and see what's going on with the Riddler's little puzzle box thing, shall we? Got a nice long view of this. Ooh, okay, we get all kinds of. St Ooh, this is stuff from the last game. Vicky Vale, A.K.A. Lady Arkham, driven to madness. Yeah. Leader of the children of Arkham. Oh, her body was never found. That's bad. Oh, so this is kind of like our uh, trophy room. Yep, good old penguin. Oh, Harvey, 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 Harvey. And Selena Kyle. Yeah, sparring with her. Yeah, I'm sure you did enjoy that, Bruce. No explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. Uh, Alfred? It, it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and, and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. Alfred, it's clearly a problem. You should get it looked at. Uh, well, as you say, Bruce, it'll pass. Working always helps. Yeah, again, that's something you need to be taking a look at. Okay, what the do we agency. Got? The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Yeah, a worse Maybe, one. But the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. That man's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job. I mean, the Riddler's a flashy homicidal maniac with a thing for puzzles, and Waller and her agency might be just as dangerous. Again, Waller may be running a more ethical operation these days. I could be wrong, but everything I've ever seen or heard about Waller suggests no. She's not going to be. Yes. Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Why would he return? Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Maury. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Doro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden, to get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man's deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. His victims are the ones who need help. I'll concede you have a point. 
What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. I take everything back. It's in the feed here. Gotham Citizens Support GCPD Batman Partnership. Okay. Despite some heavy criticism for elected officials, GCPD's public partnership with the mass vigilante known as Batman has been a rousing success with the city's population. Across the board, Gotham City crime has been down from the previous year, with violent crimes hitting a record low. Some on the city council have raised concerns about Batman's hidden identity and his operation outside the restrictions of the law doesn't appear to be hurting public opinion. I don't care who he is. I care that he makes things safer, said Wayne Barton, whose business has seen a 50% spike in sales after dark in recent months. Well, that's cool. Council member Gail Rich is sympathetic to business owners like Barton, but she maintains until we know who this Batman is, I don't think we can ever truly be safe. Hmm. Oh, Wayne Enterprises stock hits record high. Okay. Uh, stock hit record high of $120 per share during afternoon trading. Surpassing a previous high of 115 per share. But that seems really low, considering how much money Bruce Wayne has to throw around. It's interesting. Well, well, then again, I guess it depends on how many shares of stock are available out there as well. But that just, that seems really low. Record highs, latest event in the company's recent hot streak since Bruce Wayne returned to company as CEO. Following his brief ouster, Wayne was removed from CEO last year, replaced with Oswald Cobblepot. Yeah, we remember that happening last time. So... Oh, a dent trial date pushback again. Interesting. Federal judge delayed the start of former Gotham Mayor Harvey Dent's criminal trial by several more months following the departure of the defendant's entire legal team. The team led by attorney Brandon Hoffman announced that they were recusing themselves at a pre-trial hearing on Monday morning. Instead, Dent, who previously served as Gotham's district attorney, has insisted on representing himself in the trial. In a statement in court, Hoffman said, I no longer feel I can defend Mr. Dent to the best of my ability. Judge Harriet Stokes then moved to delay the trial for two more months while Dent prepared his case. It's the fourth delay to the trial, third set of attorneys to part ways with Dent, who is facing multiple charges of murder, criminal negligence, and fraud. Hmm. Ooh. Because that investigation, what is the agency? It seems Batman is no longer the most mysterious crime fighter on the streets. Multiple sources from law enforcement have confirmed with the cassette that a mysterious governmental entity known only as the Agency has been conducting operations in the city recently. On the record, there is no evidence of any federal crime-fighting organization by this name, but many sources who have requested an anonymity have confirmed that the Agency has been present at several recent crime scenes and exerted considerable authority. Hmm. I have no idea who these people are, but when they show up, they're in charge, one officer said. They act like they know what they're doing, but with no way to check their track record, I guess we have to take them at their word. Okay. Oh. Officials say Cobblepot is being the model prisoner. Stark contrast with the ongoing saga of Harvey Dent's legal battle, former Wayne Enterprises CEO and convicted... Ooh. Convicted domestic terrorist. Oswald Cobblepot is a model prisoner at Blackgate man who briefly aligned himself with the terrorist organization, Jordan of Arkham, pleaded guilty to all charges against him earlier this year. He's sentenced to 40 years to be served in Blackgate. Observers and legal experts were surprised at Cobblepot's decision to forego a hearing in court, but from all accounts, he appears to be enjoying his new life in jail. We don't have a bad thing to say about him, says one Blackguard, Blackgate guard who wished to remain anonymous. You get to talking to him, and he's actually pretty charming. He's super smart. So he's playing the long con and getting them all on his side so he can control them. That's bad. He's going to be a problem again. And this is just the codex. Yeah. Hmm. Narcissistic and OCD. 
Hmm. Okay. Interesting. What do we have in Waller? Uh, former congressional aide, political science, PhD. Well, she wasted her time getting a PhD in political science, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, ambition. Promoted to regional director. Gordon doesn't like her, which is pretty clear. Yeah. Agent Blake. Okay. face he shows to the public and the person he really are. Alright, the grammar freak in me is screaming at that, because that should be the person he really is. But, you know. I'm curious what would have happened that would have gotten the Riddler to come back after this guy. But, alright, fair enough. I think we've looked at everything there is to look at on there. Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Let's see what's up with this little Solve puzzle box. Puzzle soon or people will get hurt. Well, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. writing engraved along the rim I have an eye yet cannot see who am I that sounds familiar I've heard it before don't happen to remember the answer do you sadly no I have an eye but cannot see Justice. How it released a bad man, maybe. Lady Justice is blindfolded to show she's impartial. She has two eyes under the blindfold, though. Not one. All right, well, so it's something else. It's a fair point. Uh, one eyed Jack. Gave this to me at a casino. Card games. Maybe a Jack. Specifically a one eyed Jack. But he's on the card twice, showing both eyes. Besides, he can still see. So it's probably not that. Okay. Fair. Um, needle or hurricane? Needle? I have a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Uh, sounds very plausible. These strange grooves. Strange grooves, eye of a needle. That sounds like a record player to me. Needle. A record needle. chance of stopping a whole lot of pain to be honest you're already doing better than i thought 
But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself. Unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms. Something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound. What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Hey, Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll, uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. <laughs> I'll be at Wayne Tower. Good hunting, Bruce. Must be nice to have a transforming car. Good old Wayne Tower. Ride the elevator all the way up to the top, just to turn around, get in a secret oh, elevator, and go thanks. all the way to the bottom. Glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board, and they couldn't be more pleased with how our partnership with GCPD is going. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the Arkham remodel. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, this? No. This is just something for Lucius. I see. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. Hmm. I don't know I would have brushed her aside quite so. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop... Oh no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Look at that. Micropulse waveform. Ah, and the sound it's giving off. The signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. Tiffany? Ah, uh, okay. Hey, Bruce. Tip my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. 
a micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart, just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. So I made you some tech the government would be jealous of. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... Well, please, just don't say old. Well, now that you mention it. Hey, play nice. Bruce has had a rough year. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. It's pretty cool, huh? I don't know if cool would be the word I would use. I can hear it hum. What does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. I mean, if Sorry, your you dad's you okay. Be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. I heard he wasn't doing so well. Said he was having some issues with his health? He would love that. I hope he isn't still angered with me and Luke about that incident with the China. Well, you know Al. No one messes with his dinnerware. What kind of incident did you have with China? Well, I mean, the China. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. So I'm guessing she knows All right, then. Time who to Batman crack is. This puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Into the mission. We're going to need help. If we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. She's family after all. Well, if she's anything like you... She's better than me. Okay. Then... Let's give her a shot. Great. I'll start thinking about how we can broach the subject with her. In the meantime, Riddler's yeah. puzzle will be a fine start. That's going to be kind of an awkward Shall conversation. Go to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Hi. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get down here? I'll be down in a few. No worries. I'll, uh, start without you. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the agency's behavioral analysis unit. We just came by to ask a few questions. I sure hope I'm not in any trouble. Oh, everyone's in some amount of trouble. <laughs> it's my job to find out just how much. Uh-huh. This office, it really represents you. Well, I'd like to think so. Mm. 
Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Riddler? That psycho from the news? <laughs> I thought you'd be interested, considering your history. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. I mean, that's the kind of rude. Insane. They seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. They're not attracted to me any more than the average citizen. We live in one of the most dangerous cities in the world, right? Stands to reason I'd run into a few psychos. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. John may very well say that, yes. But not you. A conversation in a mental hospital does not make us friends, much less close. I see. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. I was... I was trying to break up a fight. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Oh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. I knew him for, what, a day? Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, okay. my friend, Conspiracy theory? are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. And your point is, what exactly, that I'm some kind of criminal mastermind? Or just really unlucky? You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Of course I don't trust you. You just showed up randomly. Maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. <sighs> You've got the wrong idea. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. <sighs> Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. I might still be able to disable it, but... You just hold tight, Lucius. I'm coming down to help. It's too late for that. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. 
Lucius. What? We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman. Lucius. I'm sorry, what? What in the hell just happened? We scanned that device. There were no explosives, no poison gases, no radio radioactivity, if I can speak. What did Riddler have hidden away in that thing? How did it go boom? And did we really just lose Lucius Fox? Okay. Okay. That just went sideways a lot faster than I would have expected it to. All right. <sighs> well, this series is, uh, it's off to a heck of a start. Got an agency slash Argus agent that really likes Batman a lot, but appears to really hate Bruce. So that whole storyline is going to come back to play. Where Bruce is like the most hated person in Gotham, probably. It sounds like we just lost Lucius to the hands of the Riddler of all people. This is this is going to be interesting. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll keep the YouTube overlords happy. Do it for Lucius. If you want to see where this series goes next, well, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you know when I upload new videos. So until next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.